Now, let's go ahead and open up a web calendar. I'm going to close these, get back to my calendar, and I'll go back up here to the open calendar. And you will see I have an option from internet. And to get that location, I need to go to whatever internet calendar I'm using. For our example here, we're going to be using the Google Calendar, as I told you before. Granted, there are several other internet calendars, but you'll need to go and find out where you can get that iCal address from. So we're going to go to Internet Explorer here. We're already open to our Google, and we are already signed into our Google account. So what we will do is go down to our Google Calendar. Let me enlarge this. And to find that address in your Google Calendar, you'll go here underneath My Calendars and find Settings. And when we go here, we will go to the calendar that we want to share, and that is our tfofficetraining at gmail.com calendar. Click on that. And I need to scroll down here to the private address. This is a private calendar. It is not a public calendar. If it was a public calendar, I would go here to the calendar address, but it is a private address. I will click on the iCal button and see this little window pops up. And like it says, please use the following address to access your calendar from other applications. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to select it, right click and copy. I'll minimize this and I will paste that address into there and choose OK. Do you want to add this calendar outlook and subscribe to the updates? Yes, I do. Whoa, and there we go. And it was just that fast. That was not any sleight of hand or magic of editing. It went ahead and brought it in pretty quickly for us, didn't it? And now, let me close up my calendar. There is the Google Calendar. Okay, let's go ahead, we can close that down, get back to my regular calendar. So now I'm going to show you how to save a calendar in that iCal format so that you can use it somewhere else. You can go ahead and send it to somebody or open it in another program. And to do that, what we need to do is simply make sure we have the calendar that we want to save. We'll go to our file menu choose save calendar select the destination I'm going to save it to my desktop and from this drop down choose the iCalendar format now granted it's the only format that's there but that's okay I will save it and it's asking me I'm saving it does not contain any appointments during the specified range the specified range is this one day the 23rd do I want to change the date range or continue? Yes, I'm going to change my range and I am going to specify dates because I want it simply to be for the month of March. And I will choose OK. And there is that saved calendar. Now, I can open this. I can go ahead and double click on it to open it up. And it just opened it up here back in my Outlook. But you can use this if you want to export this and open it up someplace else. And that's sharing a calendar. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.